Hello, hello, friend. Welcome back to my channel. I am Kat, the Nurse Flipper, and today we are going to go over trinket boxes. So I am lucky to have a ton of space and storage for my reselling business. But if you don't have a lot of room, maybe you're in an apartment or you're in a condominium, you might not be able to source larger items. So we are going to research trinket boxes and I'm going to show you trinket boxes worth hundreds and thousands of dollars. These are some that I did not know and I wanna make you aware of them. That way when you're out thrifting, you're out of state sales, maybe even looking at online auctions, you will know what types and styles of trinket boxes are the most valuable. So we will go over the top 20 of my picks that have sold in the last three months in May 2024 right now. I do want to let you know, I did put some jewelry boxes in here. So there are some up to like seven or eight inches, a little bit bigger than your typical trinket box. They did put trinket in the title and they were so valuable. I think they are definitely worth showing and sharing with you. So let's go ahead and take a look. We are going to start off with this beautiful Latalic France Bird of Paradise gold hand-painted egg trinket box. This is a Limoges. This one sold for $400. You can see the beautiful, colorful birds, tons of gold on this one as well, and no fading on this one. On the bottom, it is very easily identified. It does say hand-painted made in France by Latalic for Saks Fifth Avenue. And there is the interior of this egg. Excellent, excellent sale on a small trinket box at $400. Next is actually one of the only few that were on auction. Most of these trinket boxes were buy it now. So I do wanna point that out. This is a vintage Noritake Japan porcelain art deco lady decorated covered trinket box set. This one was an auction, got 11 bids and sold for $396. And we will take a look at those bids after we look at the photos here. And this one is really small. You can see it there in their hand. You can see that Noritake Japan and the M on the bottom. This one is a smaller trinket box, an excellent sale. Let's go ahead, take a look at where they started the bidding. So this one got 11 bids. There were seven different bidders. This one was a five day auction. And this one was started at $150. Just my every time reminder to you guys, start your auctions at the lowest you're willing to take. You never know how many bids you will get. This one went from 150 up to almost $400 and an excellent sale on a vintage Noritake trinket box. This one is so, so beautiful. This is an antique Victorian Mary Gregory amethyst glass casket dresser trinket or jewelry box this one sold for 399 dollars watch for amethyst glass and you can see this one is footed beautiful gold as well as white that looks to be hand painted on here you can see it open and here is the bottom so on this one i am not sure how they identified it as mary gregory you hopefully would be able to use Google Lens, but keep an eye out for amethyst glass trinket boxes. Some more crystal or glass and an amazing, amazing green. This is an antique heavy. They did put Baccarat and put question mark, so they are unsure if it is. Empire crystal glass French trinket box with a squirrel on top. This one sold for a best offer on $449. And we will take a look here. 
So glass trinket boxes are filling this video. You want to pay particular attention to that. Here you can see this one is 10 centimeters across. So it is a smaller one and beautiful, beautiful glass trinket box with gold that is in excellent condition and a great sale at $449. Next, we have a Disney Mickey Mouse trinket box. This is a Disney Artoya Limoges, France. It does say main trinket pill box from Fantasia. It does say it is rare. This one sold for a best offer on $449. And this is another small one. You can see Mickey in his Fantasia cap. And here on the bottom, you can see the Artoya Paint Main Limoges, France. Disney stuff, I would definitely take a look at. This is one I might not have pegged as being worth hundreds. I would have known there was some value, but this one was a great, great sale. Make sure you are researching these trinket boxes. I absolutely love this one. And I will caution you, Capa di Monte pricing can be all over the place. So make sure you find the exact or one very, very similar to what you have. This is a Capa di Monte hand-painted cherubs and lovers casket box large. So this is one of the bigger ones. This one is seven inches long. It sold for a best offer on $459. And here you can see the lovers and the cherubs. Here is the interior of this box. This one is 3D. I probably would have put that in my title that last picture was a little bit out of focus. And you can see the pictorial goes around. Here is the Capa di Monte sign, if you do not know the N with the crown, which is Nova Capa di Monte. So keep an eye out for that. And this one was an excellent sale. It is a bigger box, but it sold for hundreds. I have put a couple of Tiffany & Co. trinket boxes in this video because I have found Tiffany & Co. trinket boxes. I actually have one in my store now. Most of them I have found in online auctions. A lot of you ask how I source from online auctions. I do have a video on that and I will pop that link up top for you. So this is a Tiffany & Co. sterling silver trinket box. I think they meant pill box, not pull box. And they put Tiffany Frog. This one sold for a best offer on $500. And here you can see that little frog on top. Not overly detailed. This is a pretty simplistic one. But what matters is what you are seeing here. And that is that it is Tiffany & Co. And it is solid sterling. Here you can see that lid flipped over and an excellent, excellent sale. Watch for Tiffany & Co. There are some lower dollar pieces, but a good majority of Tiffany & Co. is worth hundreds. Next is one that I was not aware was worth money. And we actually were doing my members only sourcing. If you don't know, every other week I do live sourcing for my paid members and I will look in their zip code. And we actually saw one of these and one of my members, LaDonna, and she has a YouTube channel. She's very knowledgeable on glass. So I will pop a link to her YouTube channel up top for you. She saw one that was similar to this and I passed it over and she's like, hey, Kat, you, you need to look at that. Those are worth money. So I actually learned quite a bit during my sourcing as well from my members. So this one is an antique Italian faceted crystal and bronze hinge casket box. This one sold for $487. And this is something I would not have known had she not pointed it out to me. So I wanted to make sure to put this in here. There are a lot of these crystal and bronze casket boxes that are selling very, very high. So definitely keep an eye out. 
X is a name that is all over a lot of my high dollar videos, and that is Jay Strongwater. And this is the first of two of his trinket boxes I am going to show you. This is a pebbled trinket. It does say large cabochon, Swarovski crystals, which he does use in all of his pieces. This little box sold for $525. So if you see any J Strong Water, please, please pay attention. There are a few lower pieces, uh, mostly some plain frames and things like that. The majority of J Strong Water is more valuable. And here you can see the enamel, absolutely gorgeous gemstones on the top here. And this one does still have its original box and paperwork and was an excellent, excellent sale at $525. Next is another one that this has just recently come to my attention. There is always new stuff to learn when it comes to reselling and even collecting as far as what is in style and what is trending. And these opaline glass boxes are definitely trending right now. This is a Murano opaline yellow glass casket trinket box with bronze. This one sold for a best offer on $595. Here you can see the beautiful yellow glass. So these wouldn't have caught my eye before doing this video because they are just plain. However, there are quite a few and I am going to show you some more glass boxes, but definitely keep an eye out for glass and bronze trinket boxes. Next is a gorgeous Champlevé enamel box. So this one is an antique French gilt bronze and Champlevé. This one sold for a best offer on $600. It does say it has signs of oxidation in the bronze and enamel due to age. So you do want to notate if you are seeing any flaws. The holder on this one is absolutely amazing. This one definitely would have caught my eye. Here you can see that bronze on the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful little trinket box and an excellent sale, uh, best offer on $600. Next is a beautiful antique French cobalt blue enameled Ormolu. So Ormolu is a name you want to know. Do a search on eBay. Just put in Ormolu trinket box. You will see all of the different styles that they have as well as the pricing. So this one sold for a best offer on $700. Look at the beautiful tufted interior of this box. Great, great detail. There is the bottom and an excellent, excellent sale. Again, I do encourage you go search Ormolu trinket box. Take a look at some of these. They are definitely very, very valuable. Next is another name you definitely need to know, and that is Karen Kapal. This is a large elephant limited edition trinket box with Austrian crystals. So Karen Kapal is actually the seller on this one. This is the last one available. There are 11 sold. So look for Karen Kapal when it comes to used ones. Again, this is her selling the trinket boxes herself. You can see beautiful, beautiful Swarovski. Here is that Karen Kapal mark. So these are mass produced. This one was uh, not overly mass produced. There were 250, which is a lower number. And this one was a great, great sale. $770. So Karen Kapal does have quite a few trinket boxes out there. And these I think are possible to find probably mostly out of state sales. This was a lot of J Strongwater items, but I think it's perfect to be able to show you different pieces of J Strongwaters. So this is an enameled box as well as four other items. This lot sold for $850. And look at the beautiful butterfly. Jay Strongwater with the Swarovski crystals is always very, very impressive when you see them. 
And these are just small little trinkets. Here's another small box. This one does say September. You can see that J Strongwater name there on the inside of the trinket box, as well as all of the J Strongwater boxes. So this was an excellent, excellent sale. Keep an eye out for J Strongwater. I thought this one was so cool. This is a rare porcelain half doll on gilded metal and porcelain vanity box. I love how her dress is the top of the box. This one sold for a best offer on $800. And you can see, a looks like it's brass. At least it's brass color there. And here you can see gorgeous, gorgeous box. This one is a little bit bigger. It does have France there on the interior of the lid and depose. So watch for France for sure when you're looking at trinket boxes. This was an excellent sale, a best offer on $800. We are up to our top five with this gorgeous Tiffany Studios piece. I actually sold the matching letter holder to this one and I found it in an online auction. So they are out there. This is an antique Tiffany Studios gilt bronze and opalescent slag glass pine needle design. It does not have to be Sterling and Tiffany to be valuable. Remember that. So best offer on $950. Here you can see the photographs. It's hard to tell, but this has beautiful slag glass behind that brass. And these are absolutely gorgeous in person. You can see that slag glass a little better there on the bottom as well as the top. And beautiful, beautiful piece. Here you can see the Tiffany Studios New York. So they are clearly marked on the bottom and you're able to identify them and great sale, best offer on $950. Up next is a beautiful handmade wooden jewelry box. It does say wood trinket storage box, mother of pearl inlay. This does say Layla's handmade gifts. So I'm unsure if the seller is actually making these. This one, it looks like there were three available and two have sold at $1,557. We will take a look here. I wanted to show you this look. That way you would know that beautiful mother of pearl inlay to keep an eye out for. Beautiful, beautiful cobalt blue on this one as well. So bright coloring. You can see the mother of pearl as well as the abalone there inset and beautiful velvet interior on this one. You probably wouldn't find this exact one because I do believe that they are making these themselves, but this one was an excellent, excellent sale at over $1,500. The number three top selling is the second Mizen. This is a large antique Mizen porcelain trinket box, chinoiserie. It does say absolutely gorgeous. Here we will take a look. Again, Mizen can be very, very good money. This is another very, very 3D box. So not flat. You can see how detailed this is. Beautiful, beautiful box. You can see the cross swords on the bottom that do indicate it is a Mizen piece. You can see it in their hands. It's not an overly big box. It is large for a trinket box, but still on the smaller side and an excellent, excellent sale at $1,600. Number two, and there were quite a few of these. This is a Mandruzzato Murano Lavorato Amano Italy Art Glass Trinket Jewelry Box. Know this look. Look up those glass trinket boxes. They are selling incredibly high. This one sold for a best offer on $1,999. And here you can see that black encased. It does have the original sticker saying Mandruzzato. And there it is a little bit closer. 
beautiful, beautiful glass trinket box. I love the black on the interior. Here you can see with it open, this is a really, really nice glass trinket box. So hopefully it would catch your eye. Definitely keep an eye out for those glass trinket boxes. And the number one selling trinket box is from 1910. This is not a name I was familiar with. This is a 1910 Frank J. Marshall trinket box. It is hammered copper. It does have an enamel medallion. Gorgeous, gorgeous ship there. This one was an auction, but only got one bid. It sold for $2,150. Absolutely amazing and not something I would have known. So I wanted to make sure to show this to you guys. I am not sure how they identified this as a Frank J. Marshall because I do not see the name there, but excellent, excellent sale on an antique trinket box. All right, friend, I hope you learned a lot from this video. I know I did. Whenever I do these research videos, I always learn new names or styles to look out for that I previously would have simply looked over. So I hope it helps you as well. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, share with your friends if you think they would like, and I will see you on the next one.